Hi, so this is the first video in the quick test finding the missing angle playlist that you'll be able to download the three questions from the website and I'll put the link in the description below. Um, this particular type of question just really requires a little bit of detective work and just working through in order to get the, uh, the final answer that you're looking for. Okay, so we're being asked to find out the value of x and we're being told that this is a decagon. Okay, well if it's a decagon it basically means it's got 10 sides. Now if it's got 10 sides it means that um, the external angle of a decagon is going to be 360 because all the external angles add up to 360 divided by 10 sides so we know that each of the external angles is going to be 36 degrees. What I mean by that is this piece along here so this is 36 degrees okay which also means then I can work out the internal angle because this is going to be a straight line along here so therefore the internal angle here is going to be 180 take away 36 so that's going to give me an internal angle of 144 degrees all right well that's kind of useful to me because now it's a case of figuring Figuring out that actually this piece here is an isosceles triangle because it's a regular decagon it means all of the sides are the same so therefore this side and this side are the same now if it is the same and the angles the internal angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees then it means also these two angles are the same here and I can work out that 180 take away 144 is 36 so therefore each of these angles must be 18 degrees okay so as I mentioned a little bit of detective work a little bit of fiddling around to find out answers to what we're what we're looking for okay so we'll just press on a little bit so if this is 18 degrees we also know as we worked out before that the internal angle of the decagon is actually a hundred and forty four degrees okay so if we look at that a little bit closer we've got something like this so this angle comes in at um, 18 Okay, and what we're saying is that overall the angle is going to be 144 degrees. Okay, well that allows us then, if we take 18 away from 144, it means then that I can work out that this angle, okay, which is the same as this angle in here is going to be 126 degrees. Now I hope you can actually see that on the video. Please do download this particular question and be able to have a better look at it. But the important thing for us is if we know this piece here is 126, we also know that this is a straight line. So we end up with this kind of effect. So we've got... Um, this being 126 degrees. This piece here is the bottom part of the, the kind of triangle. Okay, and also um, it means that this can be calculated now because we know that this is a straight line that we're dealing with, which is this line or if you prefer this line across here. Okay, so 180 take away 126 means that the value of x must be 54 degrees, 54 degrees here. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. It did take a little bit of working through. Um, I will also scan my working on this particular problem and add that into the uh, post on the website. And that might give you a much clearer idea as well as the video. I hope that's been okay. Please do add a comment below. This is the first video in the series. There's gonna be three of them. The next two are relatively straightforward on the playlist and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.